What is up, everybody? Tonight's the fight night. Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury 2. Um, this is my fight predictions. Now, before I tell you who I think is going to win and how, uh, let's uh, break down the first fight with them. Now that they've already fought once, we can kind of check off like what it, we can expect and what we can expect from this fight. And uh, one of the things I'll start off with that we can expect is we know Tyson Fury has a chin on him. Now, Deontay Wilder is known arguably as one of the hardest punchers of all time, if not the hardest puncher, if you specific people you ask. Um, and we know uh, Tyson Fury can take that punch, you know, that famous rise up like the Undertaker uh, in the 12th round um, was eye opening to the whole world. You know, we got people talking and uh, hyped up this rematch that we're going to see tonight. Now, not only did he take Deontay Wilder's power punch, he took it in the last round where he should be the most fatigued, uh, exhausted. But to be fair for Deontay Wilder too, his power was probably diminished a little bit too, given the fact that he landed that in the last round. Now, I think in my opinion, the, the results of this rematch is all on uh, Tyson Fury. It's up to him and what kind of approach he uh, has in this fight. Now, if you see him in the promos and stuff, and on that note, they're doing an gr amazing job promoting this fight. Uh, last time I remember them promoting a fight like this was Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather. Actually, McGregor and Mayweather, but they're doing a great job on promoting this fight. Every time I put on my TV, I see it on YouTube and wherever, Facebook, Instagram, wherever it is, it's everywhere. So I'm expecting a big pay-per-view uh, numbers uh, tonight. But what was I saying? Um... Yeah, so Tyson's approach to this fight, he's been telling everybody, all the announcers and stuff, radio people, that he's going to attack as opposed to what he did last time, which was box, outbox him, um, make him uh, just look like a fool out there for the entire fight, let it go to decision. Now, given the fact that the decision didn't go his way and most people expected and uh, thought he should get the uh, win with a majority decision, including me, but since he got the draw, he's he might be thinking, I have to attack and end this fight early and not let it go to the judge's hands. Now, if he decides to do that, he runs the risk of getting knocked out himself if he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Deontay Wilder, knowing he has that power, that one-punch knockout power. But he didn't knock him out, which was also could be on the back of uh, Deontay Wilder's mind, and that's what Tyson is uh, saying as well, and I agree too. So, in my opinion, what I think he should do is just stick to his bread and butter, uh, just outbox him. I think he's the far superior boxer in there. He doesn't have the power like Wilder, but he does possess very good boxing skills. And just hope for the best. Maybe he can knock him out, or the judges will finally give it to him, um, as opposed to last time, um, if he just can stay on his feet. Doesn't get knocked down and just clearly wins point by point. Uh, I think he should be good, but I think he's going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. I believe him. I think he's going to go in there and try to knock him out, and I think that's going to be his downfall in this fight. I think he's going to do that, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Wilder, and I'm expecting Wilder to knock him out inside of six rounds. So uh, hopefully it doesn't happen. I'll, I'm rooting for Tyson Fury. I love his story. I love his comeback, and who doesn't love comeback underdog stories? Um most of you guys that don't know who he was or before the fight, um, he was battling uh, weight issues, uh, depression. He was uh, having suicidal thoughts and he just made a miraculous comeback from, you know, the depths of hell pretty much. And that's another thing, another factor to look into in this uh, rematch. In my opinion, he had more than one opponent last time he fought Wilder. Of course, he had Wilder in front of him for 12 rounds. But he was pretty much trying to get in shape, too. If you watch that first fight on YouTube, um, he has the muffin top uh, handle. He has the loose skin. He has He's pretty much not entirely in shape. Now, if you look at him today, he is in probably the best shape he's ever been in. Um, entirely focused, coming off of two fights, two fight camps uh, before this. He did get that cut in his last fight, which was uh, not good for him, but... He's coming in there supremely confident, knowing he can knock out Wilder. Um, but I think that would be his downfall in this fight. I think he's going to go in there approaching it very offensively, very aggressively, and he's going to get knocked out in the first six rounds. Deontay Wilder is going to beat him. But hopefully I'm wrong, 
and uh, hopefully he'll stick to he'll stick to the way he fought um, the first fight with Wilder. I thought that was an amazing job from him. He just has to not get careless and uh, just um, pick his shots. Just be a little bit more aggressive, but not too aggressive. And I think he'll get the win uh, via decision. But I don't think, like I said, he's going to do that. He's going to go in there very aggressive, and he's going to get knocked out in the first six rounds. So I'm going to say knock out Deontay Wilder in the fifth round. And um, hopefully it's an amazing fight and lives up to the hype. Uh, same, If it's half as good as the first fight, we should be in for a good treat tonight. So hope you guys watch it. Hope you guys enjoy it. I know I will. So take care, guys. Have a nice weekend. Uh, I'll talk to you later.